in the UK, TB tends to affect uh, people from poor socioeconomic backgrounds and also people who have lived in countries where TB is common. Tuberculosis is um, an infectious disease spread through coughing mm. um, in the respiratory droplets that someone coughs up out of their lungs. And say you and I, we spend a lot of time together in this one room, totally unventilated. Um, then three things that can happen really when the TB encounters you and your body. You breathe it in and the first thing is your immune system can get rid of it completely. The second thing is that you could become unwell straight away and the TB could spread in the blood system or lymphatic system to anywhere in the body and it can affect any part of the body. It might most commonly affect the lungs. And the third thing that can happen is the TB enters the body and the immune system meets the TB and it wraps it up and it manages to keep it under control, suppressed and you're not unwell. But at some point that TB sits in the body and later on in life, mm. perhaps when you encounter stressful situations, maybe you're malnourished because you're travelling overland in the back of a lorry trying to escape a war and you don't have good access to food maybe uh, you get to a country and that country doesn't treat you particularly well they make your life very difficult you know, they make earning money very difficult you have to learn a new language all of these things are quite stressful maybe you get pregnant um, and that impacts your immunity or maybe you have coexisting HIV, mm -hmm. um, which also impacts your immunity. All these things might affect the balance between the TB and the immune system, and the TB can wake up, reactivate, and cause you to become unwell. Once you have labelled TB, the treatment's there. We know what treatment to give. There are lots of studies and trials that are important about shortening how the duration of treatment, because it's quite long, and uh, simplifying the treatment, but before you get to the diagnosis there's often a big delay in terms of months so could could we understand um, how to shorten that and that led me to reading policies around healthcare access which I'd never encountered before and I sat there and the more I read the angrier I became because they all talked about restricting access to this very group of people who were most at risk of getting TB and in addition they talked about restricting access to healthcare for people. And from my perspective, healthcare is a human right. Mm. 